everyone, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Nina, and over the last five years, I have been on a quest to dramatically change my life, both internally and externally, and to try to teach myself how to live a life that feels fulfilling and authentic without being chaotic. And I can honestly say that I have changed more over the last five years than in all of my life combined. And it has been a crazy couple years. I have moved four different different times to very different types of places and I've learned some paradigm shifting life lessons and lately I've been really reflecting on this journey and everything that it has taught me and one of the realizations I had was something that I wanted to share with you today in hopes that it would be helpful to you on your own journey. So to start, I think that when most of us think about our lives, we think of it as this giant roller coaster with all these really high highs and these really low lows, and we tend to kind of skip over everything that happens in between. But I think for most of us in reality, our life really isn't like a roller coaster. It's more like a big blur. We don't even remember what happens half the time or we feel like it's a very long, straight, repetitive line that really lacks the excitement and the adventure that we would associate with really being on a roller coaster. Maybe there's been some bumps in the road or even some pretty significant negative experiences and hopefully positive experiences <laughs> sprinkled in there as well. But for most of us, when we are honest with ourselves, we kind of realize that our life probably could be more extraordinary than we are choosing to make it. Now, for me personally, apart from the last five years, I definitely lived my entire adult life in the blur category. It's not that I didn't have incredible moments or that I wasn't reaching goals. I was, but everything was just kind of jumbled all together. I wasn't mentally present for any of it. I was just always trying to push forward. I was exhausted all the time. So I never gave the good things in my life the weight that they deserved. So it's almost like they didn't count. It felt like they never really happened because I wasn't really acknowledging any of it. And I think that so many of us have our own version of this same story where either our life is completely chaotic or it is so routine and so predictable that we end up in exactly the same place where our life feels very, very unfulfilling, even though we may be doing things that are actually meaningful. So all these years later, I have finally gotten to a place where neither one of these two things are happening happening anymore, but it's taken me some time to figure out why and what changes were necessary to have this type of internal transformation. It really took me looking back at my life over the last couple of years and the different experiences that I've had and the different places that I've lived and realizing that all we really remember are the snapshots, the moments that made such an impression in our mind because they stood out, because they were different. We don't tend to remember the parts of our life that are just included in the blur, even when these are the things that make up the majority of our life. Even though we are spending so much time doing these things, we don't tend to remember them ever again because they are not part of the roller coaster ride. And when nothing in our life is really standing out much of the time, apart from maybe a bad day or something that is obviously significant, like someone's wedding or a new birth in the family, we don't really get the sense that our life is fulfilling or interesting or energizing. We're not excited to wake up in the morning because we feel like the day we're going to have today is probably going to be a lot like the day we had yesterday. And I think without realizing it, we spend so much of our energy just hoping that disaster does not come our way. And when we live our life that way, it's no surprise that we feel too drained and uninspired to notice the good things that are happening around us or to upgrade our own experiences or to intentionally create more magical moments. But these are the things that we need to be doing. I can't even explain how much my life actually changed when I committed to finally being present and mindful in my life and intentionally creating for myself these magical, memorable snapshots that helped me to feel inspired again and helped me to feel that I was living my life finally to its fullest. And I do want to quickly specify that when we are making 
making this transformation and when we are making this commitment, if we're going to have these new experiences or these beautiful moments in our life, they really do have to be for us. I think a lot of times without realizing it, I think only because we're in the age of social media and we've been kind of conditioned this way, sometimes we think that these moments we are crafting are for ourselves, but they're really kind of a performance with an audience in mind. We're really doing them to impress other people as opposed to really express ourselves. So we want to make sure that our focus really is on truly feeding our own soul. So even if we are doing things that are picturesque and even if we take a photo, it has nothing to do with the photo. It has everything to do with the experience, with the memory that we are creating for ourselves. And we also don't always have to intentionally create these memories. A lot of times these things are happening all around us. We just have to open our eyes to them. We have to notice them. And when we make that shift, we start to naturally see things that are extraordinary and we start to savor them a lot more. I think the very first time that I made this shift was when I was living in North Carolina. In fact, whenever anyone asks me about the state, my mind instantly goes to this one specific memory. So I went to this immaculate, beautiful, gorgeous, stunning nature trail that ended up being just the most magnificent thing I have ever seen in my life. There were waterfalls, there were little woodland creatures playing all around me. I felt like Snow White. The leaves were just beginning to turn at the beginning of autumn. The sun was peeking through the trees and it was just the first time that I truly allowed a moment to be everything that it deserved to be. And I think back at all the different moments in my life that probably would have equaled this had I given them the weight, had I really been present and noticed them and appreciated them. And this is a mistake that I no longer make. I am always looking out for the extraordinary things around me and I'm always making sure that I am fully present in the moment. We also have to remember that as humans, we have a negativity bias. So we tend to remember the negative things, the things that hurt us or the things that don't go well a lot more readily and have them a lot more deeply ingrained in us than positive experiences a lot of the time. So when we are not balancing out these negative experiences with positive experiences, either by you know noticing them around us or by intentionally creating them, we're going to start to feel that our life is a lot worse than it actually is because these are the things that we are paying attention to. I think we also tend to forget how much of our life and our perception of our experiences that we actually control. Maybe we aren't able to control everything externally, but certainly internally we can. And I think we think a lot of times that we have to wait for everything to line up perfectly for us to be happy and that we need to have everything that we want in order to be happy. And we've romanticized the lives of other people, not realizing that right here, right now, we can create that type of joy and happiness in our own life. We can always make moments matter more and we can always make more magical moments. And there are a lot of very simple ways to do this with the obvious one being, you know, simply being more present for time that is spent with friends and family or being alone and doing things that we enjoy or being out in nature and also upgrading the everyday experiences that we have. And I think a lot of times we mentally give ourselves the excuse of not thinking that we have enough time to add more things in our life or you know to be giving energy to this when in reality a lot of times we are spending time doing things that are complete garbage for us you know watching television shows that we don't like or scrolling mindlessly through social media there are definitely things in our life no matter how stuffed they are that can be taken out that really aren't necessary or fulfilling in any way and when we kind of push those things to the side, we can have time, space, and energy for things that really do make our life feel a lot more magical. 
I used to not love the phrase romanticize your life because I think I thought it meant that we needed to convince ourselves that our life was perfect when it wasn't or that we needed to put on a little show for other people to make it look picturesque. But I think if we think of it more as adding things into our life that make it more enchanting or more beautiful or more interesting, we can actually gain a lot from this concept. A really small example of this in my life was when I finally gave away all the coffee mugs I didn't like. Now I know this sounds really silly, but mornings for me are just kind of sacred. This is the time that I get to spend with myself. I get to journal and kind of meditate and just, you know, go outside and be with the morning. And I noticed that whenever I had a coffee mug that I didn't like, I was just kind of always turning it around so I didn't have to see something that wasn't that aesthetic. And it just kind of bothered me. And I thought, well, why don't I just get rid of all the ones that I don't like? So I make sure that every single day I have a coffee mug that I like. And I know it sounds so simple, but it did make an impact. And after that, I just kind of went through my house and made sure that I just kept the best of the best of everything and gave myself more opportunities to have these moments be slightly more enhanced. And then I started to think about how I could make each moment of my day just a little bit better. And it became like a little game, a little pattern. And slowly but surely, my life became upgraded. I also started to notice how important aesthetics are for me. And this is something that is actually backed by research. It is really tied to life satisfaction for a lot of people. And I noticed that whenever I got a chance, I really enjoyed watching YouTube clips of people living in Norway or Sweden, in the mountains or in a forest and having these very picturesque fairy tale lives. And I knew that my life would never really align with living in a forest in Sweden but I could probably have more magical fairy tale type moments for myself if I planned them out. So I started to make sure that I had days where I ate lunch underneath a tree or I went and spent an afternoon in an old bookstore or in other places that I would normally think would be kind of unproductive or frivolous. I was really gaining something from this. I made sure that I started taking nightly walks underneath the stars. And I noticed again that my life just seemed a lot more magical. I also just realized that I really need moments in my life that feel charming and that are beautiful and that don't just get caught up in this big blur. I no longer feel since I've made these changes that my life is simply a straight line with high highs and low lows. There are peaks and valleys throughout my day, throughout my week, throughout my life. There are magical moments because I not only notice these moments around me, I also make sure that I am creating them. I am intentionally creating the life that I want to be living. So my invitation to you is to think about your own life over the last few years. What were your magical moments? What were your snapshots? Think about the things that immediately stand out to you. What were the things that were fun, enchanting, and meaningful? honor those moments and also think to yourself, how can I create more of these moments in my life? And when you come to a conclusion, really practice self-love in that you are going to truly schedule time for these things, not just once in a while, but on a regular basis. You're going to commit to being more present in your life, being more mindful in your life and creating moments in your life that make it feel spectacular. So as always, I truly hope you found today's video to be insightful and interesting. And if you did, please like it, share it, and definitely become a subscriber. If you are not one already, I would absolutely love it if you stayed connected. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today, and I hope the rest of your day is extraordinary.